Creating the life you truly desire, the hard truth behind it. Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of The Rising Tide with Tara Barrow, where I share knowledge, experience that I take in and share it with you so that you may choose to give it a try, keep it, or completely ignore it if it's not of any value to you. If you find anything useful, do share it with friends uh, and close ones or colleagues, because who knows, it might help them too. Today's topic, creating the life of you want, the hard truth behind it. Creating an ideal life looks all glossy and fancy, and the hard truth is, it's not as easy. Uh, most people will want to take the path of least resistance because, as it says, it's the least resistance where you don't have to overthink, you don't have to push yourself out your, outside your comfort zone, you just take day-to-day -day actions, pull over the job, take care of your family and do the basic steps that most people are aware of and you keep on going and that's fine and if that's yours by the way um, great if you're happy with there don't know why you're listening to this if I'm guessing you want something different if you are listening to this um, <laughs> but taking the path of least resistance doesn't make doesn't yeah uh, take you on the path of creating your own life as you truly want it. Something might be going on uh, and it one of the things could be the drama triangle. I say one of the things because there could be many other options that's going on in your head. So the drama triangle which I'm covering today are, have three types. The victim, the villain and the hero. The victim is where you're going through everything, life is happening to you, you have no control and it's not fair, uh, you don't deserve this, uh, you should be, it's just, yeah, why is this happening to me? Why I can't get out of this? Uh, and you're just victimizing yourself. So you're completely disempowering yourself for anything else out there. The villain is linked with blame. It's blaming either yourself or an external party. So blaming yourself is, I'm not good enough, I don't have the capacities. Um, I always make this happen. It will never work out because of me. External would be either blaming somebody else. So it's never my fault, but it's their fault. It's because of that person that that project didn't go ahead. It's because, or an event, right? Or anything that's external. Um, it's not the right timing. The economy system's not there. Um, you just find an external reason to blame somebody else. The third one is hero. So it's temporary relief for either yourself again, or you could be the hero for somebody else. Um, a good metaphor is with the, uh, the men and the fishing. So give a man a fish, you'll feed him for one day. Teach a man to fish, you'll feed him for a lifetime. The hero is giving the fish to the fisherman. For one day so at the end of the day you've had a long day so temporary relief could be I don't know you go to the movies you watch stuff series you grab a glass of wine but the next day you've got to repeat it again because it's temporary relief and you could do the same on to somebody else where somebody might be complaining about their life and again you're putting a patch on it like oh it's okay you know things will come out and you're just relieving it for that moment in time do you do any of these self-reflection, honest time? Um, to be honest with yourself, are you part of the drama triangle? Um, I know I used to be, and, <laughs> and now <laughs> I, I just look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, no, no, if things aren't working out, it's me. And that's where it's coming out to the next one. And it's a hard truth where you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and take responsibility for your life. Um, you're the CEO of your own life. You're, you're making things happen. You're choosing. And choosing not to go for something is a choice. By the way, most of the time when you're choosing not to go for an option, it's not staying here and going for the option. There's a whole bunch of other options in the middle that you probably haven't thought of at all. Um, that you're also ignoring and you're not choosing to explore that. Um, yeah, I found myself often in conversation with people where I'll list options 
And they go, no, I can't do this because, no, I can't do this because, no, I can't do this because, no, I can't do this because. And I could keep coming up with options, but the person in front of me will always find a no because. Um, the lack of solution is not the problem. It's the person in front who truly doesn't want to change. And that's okay. Again, it's um, the path of least resistance. If you're not uncomfortable, if, yeah, if you're not uncomfortable enough, if you're not, if you won't budge, you'll just stay where you are and you just won't budge. It's an inner wanting of creating something different for yourself to go out there. Um, yeah. If something truly matters to you, you'll make time. If it doesn't truly matter to you, you're just gonna make excuses. Um, and it's time, making time for something isn't giving a whole day or giving your whole life's time. It could be, you know, start with five minutes of thought time a day. Start by that and then add maybe 10 minutes um, a day and then grow that. And if you only have 10 minutes every single night to give to that, you know, idea of yours that you want to go through or the lifestyle you'd like to create, then just start with that because 10 minutes of day every single day adds up. Like after a week, it's an hour and 10 minutes, right? After a month, it's nearly five hours. Yeah, okay, it's maybe only five hours, but it's five hours a lot more than nothing. And that's the difference. And by the way, it keeps on growing because the more you do something that lifts you up, the more you want to do it and the more you'll find time for it. And that's a part that you won't see until you start taking action. So taking responsibility for the life you truly want. And it's looking yourself in the mirror, metaphorically or not, and saying, the reason why I'm here today is because of me, because of my mindset. Um, they could be very uncomfortable events happening um, and you don't have to like them there are things that happen that I'm like it's so not what I wanted but it's you, up to you to choose how you want to react to these events there might be a moment of taking care of yourself of slowing down of healing um, and that's okay if that's necessary right now and then you choose how to act most people lived in the reacting phase. So something happens and it's like, and they react to it. You get to choose to pause before the reaction, say, okay, this is so not what I wanted <laughs> in any level, but here is how I'm going to be acting afterwards. And there are so many options for you for the actions for you to do. There's not one thing. There are so many different options. You might not like some other ones, but you know, give it a try, one or two steps and see how it is. And if it really doesn't feel right, then change. That's the beauty of it. Um, yeah. A quote for me, it was a saying that somebody mentioned that really made me like, uh-huh, was when a mistake happened, when the, an error happens, hope that it is your fault. Yeah, you heard me right. Hope that it is your fault. Because when it is your fault, you can do something about it. And that allows you just, <laughs> I'm also on video, this is video and audio. Um, the links are in the descriptions for you to find the other version if you're listening to one another. Um, because it gives you the power back. If you say, yes, I had something to do with this, then you're like, okay, if I had something to do with this, then I still have something to do with it, so I can change it. I can choose to take another action, make a difference, whatever that is. Um, and yeah. So yeah, in conclusion, the, um, the hard truth about creating in the life you want, you are responsible for it. It's all on you, nobody else. Don't go blaming anybody else because you're not living your ideal life. It's you. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a hard one to swallow sometimes. I'll agree that the ego's right up there going, eh, eh, wah, wah, wah. not me, it's somebody else. Um, <laughs> but if you keep this up, you're just not gonna get where you wanna go. That's, that's it. 
Um, you have the control, you get to choose. And if you want some guidance to, you know, move along and do something about it, you can come and reach out to me. You can find me, um, my services on my website at, um, it's www.tarabarot.com and you can find the work with Tara tab on the website and it's all there. I'll put also the link in the show notes so you can find it. So yeah, are you ready to, you know, take responsibility for all of it and start baby steps, really baby steps because you're not going to change everything at once. You can try to, you'll overwhelm yourself, you'll make yourself tired and exhausted um, and it might work for a short time. I do suggest uh, just baby step one at a time, right? You don't reach a mountain by jumping to the top. It's one step after the other, you get there. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. And again, if you've taken anything away from this or somebody else could take something away from this, please do share, I'm much appreciated. And um, hope to see you soon on the next podcast. All right. Bye.